What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host of course, and today Apple has released WatchOS 7.5 Beta 2. At the time I'm recording this video, fortunately this update is available to developer beta testers and to public beta testers. So that means that irregardless of the profile you have, you can easily go into the settings of your Apple Watch and update this over the air my screen sort of blacked out there could be some sort of bug that came with this update but i would try to just close off everything and see whether that shows up so i was saying you can easily go into the settings and go to general and go to software update whether you have a public beta or a developer beta since this is available to everyone and obviously i'm going to show you some other updates that apple released today as this is not just all that it was released so you can see that we have ios 14.6 beta 2 this was released today and also we have ipad os 14.6 beta 2 and watch os 7.5 beta 2 and also tvos 14.6 beta 2 all these updates were released today however today there was no mac os big Sur 11.4 beta 2 update that came out now for me on my apple watch series 6 that you are seeing here the update size actually came in at around 132 megabytes and i was updating from watch over 7.5 beta 1 you could be seeing a different update size depending on the version that you're coming from now if we go into settings and go to the about this watch section you can see the new build number that we have right there and as you can see it's 18t5555c so we have a build number that has a c at the end and in terms of stability we are somewhat a little bit off from the final version or from an a build number which is one of the best in terms of stability so c is the end letter that we have and now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this watch away 7.5 beta 2 the first one that i would like to mention has to do with maps so if you go into maps and you are in seattle or california you now get cycling directions in those regions so that's something that you can always check out if you are in those areas and also uh if you like for example try to get cycling directions let's say for example if we go here and go to cycling you have the ability to turn on like hills and also terrains so for example let's go ahead and say uh, cycling directions you can see that you have the ability to turn on avoid hills and so on so it's available for those regions but since i'm in canada it won't give me the directions since cycling directions aren't available in the city that i'm in but if you are in seattle or california you do get cycling directions and also this was probably there but i uh, somehow what or somehow missed it in the previous update that i did but obviously you see that in maps when you go to search the first thing that you see is covid19 testing so you can click there and automatically to show you the nearest covid19 testing centers close by in your region or in your local area and you can easily get destination and it will show you that whether there's walking directions driving cycling or by uh, transit or by bus or train so that's something that i had not mentioned previously but it's something that's here another thing that i would like to highlight that also came to ios 14.6 beta 2 has to do with the ability to update over the air so this is not something that's officially here it was mentioned in the code of ios 14.6 beta 2 and also watch over 7.5 beta 2 so in future instead of having to connect like to wi-fi in order to do an update you could actually be able to update over cellular if you have the cell version of the apple watch and if you have an iphone or have a just a wi-fi uh, model of the apple watch like i do here then most probably you would have to go into the apple watch application and then from there on perhaps you would actually be able to go to general and perform a software update irregardless of whether you are connected to wi-fi or not so that's something that could be coming in future but was sort of hinted at 
in the code of the update another thing that i uh, would like to mention has to do with some podcast wording changes now on beta 1 of watchOS 7.5 i did mention that there was some podcast wording change but they sort of hinted at subscriptions and also with this watchOS 7.5 beta 2 very minor wording changes were sort of hinted at and this could mean that subscription or podcast subscription could be coming to some sort of subscription bundle so keep an eye out for that in future if you use the podcast or listen to a lot of podcasts another thing also that i would like to highlight has to do with audio connection so if you go to your control center here and go up and just touch here you can see that you can select or connect an audio device and before this was sort of a little bit jerky it wasn't working as supposed to but i tested out if you have an external speaker or a home pod or basically a device that you'd like to connect to this has sort of been improved it works a little bit smoother unlike before now other than that that's how this watch over 7.5 beta 2 came in for me on my apple watch series 6 if we go to see the battery let's go into settings and then we'll go back and go for battery right there you can see the time that i sort of updated my watch to watch over 7.5 beta 2 and as you can see the drain is not like instant or drastic it's something that's manageable which is reasonable so battery wise i wouldn't complain and if we go to the battery health you can see the maximum capacity that i have right there and it's still on 96 percent and previously on beta one it was on 96 percent this watch has been on the first beta of watch OS 7 i believe when i got the apple watch series 6 i knew that i was buying it mainly for watch OS updates so ever since i got this apple watch series 6 i've been it's been on beta basically so i've been living life on a beta and hopefully you like the beta videos that i've been making for you here on the channel now other than that that's how this update came in for me with regards to when we can see this update as you can see today is friday april 30 so there's still some work that needs to be done since the build number has a c so i would expect perhaps three or four more betas before this update comes out and just before wwdc which will kick place or start on june 7 to 11 this update should somehow be released before that time now other than that that's about it for me if you like this update please leave a like and subscribe down below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace